Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Well, our channel. She's holding me captive, Sammy, please. <laughs> you no, wanna no. be here. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Anyways. Today we're gonna be doing something a little different. We're gonna talk about uh, converters. Unfortunately, there aren't as many videos about it and I just would like to make one and do something a little different to help you guys out. Yeah, and a lot of the information is pretty confusing. I mean, uh, we have a friend who's getting ready to travel to Italy. Uh, she ran into this problem. I know whenever I was researching how to deal with appliances overseas, I ran into this problem. There's just not a lot of really good information and the information that's out there about how to deal with your, or your appliances overseas is really confusing. So. This is mostly for American viewers who run on, um, you know, 120 volt, 60 hertz electricity, which is what comes out of your walls. And the most of the world runs at about 220, 240 volt, and it's usually on the order of like 50 hertz. So how do you know if your appliances are compatible? Well, it's really easy. There's normally a little label on the side of your appliances. It gives like a bunch of like super engineering kind of like technical specifications. And most of this looks like Greek to all of us, but I'm gonna show you how to read one of these real quick and sort of make this nice and smooth to tell whether or not your, your laptop or your cell phone or your hair dryer are going to be compatible with the local electric. So I'm gonna slide around here and uh, just so I can read the labels with you guys. So right here, you're gonna see this line, it says input. And you can see it says 100-240V, and then there's a dash 50-68Z. And it gives some information about the amperage. We really don't need this right this second. We'll talk about this whenever I talk about hair dryers. But what is really important is this 100-240V and this 50-68Z. What that says is, is that we have both a converter that can handle 100 and 240 volts, and it can also handle 50 and 60 hertz. So, like I said, foreign outlets are generally 240 volts at 50 hertz. So this guy can get plugged directly into the wall. There's just one problem, these prongs. These are American style prongs. So sometimes what you need is a little wall adapter, and these things are about $1.50, dollar 90 something like that they're fairly cheap they're like less than two bucks you can get them at any local store around here what was the name of the store we went to again um for this one we went to bintang supermarkets yeah. it's literally the local grocery market is where we bought these but like if you're in japan you can go to joe shins um in the philippines they have them at like electronic stores at their local malls so you know it's, they're pretty universal everywhere just stop off on your way from the airport you know swing by i think we use like maybe three of these things the whole time we're in a country. That's plenty for us. And it works out great, and that's between two people with a lot of electronics. Um, so these interfaces are pretty universal. These handle all the different kinds of international plug types. The types that you will need is these two prongs right here at the top. All you gotta do, plug in, plug this side into the wall, you're good to go. But this is only for the adapters that have that marking of 100 to 240 volts with the 50 to 60 hertz range. All right. Now, things like, and that's going to be most of your electronics, like your cell phone, laptop. your laptop. It basically, if it has one of those big power packs at the back of it, it's probably going to do the, the conversion for you. Now, things that have like just a traditional two prong and it's like the real slim little plug in. You know, those things like your hair dryer, your flat irons, your electric shavers, um, they do not convert electricity. So if you plug them in the wall, you're going to blow them up. That's where this big boy comes in. This thing is awesome. This is an Insignia NSMTC1875. Okay, now what's really slick about this is that you see this little button on the side here. This guy allows me to change my wattage on this. So I can change between zero and 25 watts for typical appliances like an electric shaver. Things that are a little on the, the lower power consumption side, right? But let's say that I have a, a hairdryer or a flat iron, right? Because we all know people like to look pretty. You guys with the long hair, you know, the crap stays wet forever. So you, you got maybe some of your, uh, your, your fiancés. 
like to straighten their hair every now and then. I'm all about the curls. Who are you kidding? You flatten iron your hair sometimes. Not as often. Okay, that is true. But, you know, when you do, you can use one of these things, and all you do is you just flip this thing to high, and you plug in an adapter. So uh, we have an assortment here. And what's really nice about this, guys, it actually comes with a variety of different adaptions for various types of outlets that you're going to encounter based on where you're heading. So uh, Northern Europe, uh, Asia, you know. They also have the adapters color-coded at the bottom, and they have a little map in here. We got this from off of a Amazon. Amazon yep. Yeah, Amazon, and this is what it looks like. Don't worry, I'll put a link in the description box below. But it's it's pretty neat. Uh, this is the reason why we're able to charge our stuff. And it's a prime product, so you know it's. I think it's twenty nine seventy five, and uh, it yeah. gets to your house pretty darn quick. You know, with that two day shipping or whatever it is, or overnight. I don't know. I don't buy a whole lot of junk online, even though I build a lot of online stuff to buy junk. I'm the Amazon queen. She really is. <laughs> so, if you want to hook up your, your hair dryer, your electric shaver, all you got to do is grab one of these adaptions, stick it on the end for the wall socket you got, plug it on in, just make sure the switch is set correctly. If you are running an electric shaver, please make sure it's set to low so that you don't blow up your appliance. Um, that's the only catch. Always check that little switch on the side. And uh, I did notice one small thing about this while I was in the Philippines. Uh, your electricity is biased. So usually you see like this large and then kind of slightly smaller uh, slot to stick your appliances in. Usually like you have like one side is kind of like a bigger plug than the other. The biasing on these things is little important um, because if you take a look at a charger like this, the sizing is about the same. Um, so you can kind of put it in this way or you can flip it around and put it in the other way. And the problem with this is, is that uh, I noticed when I put my electric shaver in and it wasn't properly biased, it seemed to run a little slow and funky. It almost seemed like it was underpowered. If you run into the situation, just flip the socket around and plug it back in. Um, just try not to run it very long. If you hear like a and it sounds like it's dying, pull it out like immediately because <laughs> you will burn up your electronics. So um, I think that pretty much covers everything that you need to know about international chargers. Happy travels. Happy travels, everybody, and we will post more videos next time. Till then, see you. Bye. Wait, see you uh, then. Bye. Uh, bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs> bye. bye.